Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel in Ecommerce Project Digital for Beginner. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is that we are going to integrate our HTML template. As you can see, this is our template, HTML template and we are going to integrate this HTML template in our Laravel project. So for it, first of all, we need to download this template and for it, you can download this template. You can download this template from here. I'll give this GitHub link in the description and I want you to use the same template because that will be easier for you to follow this e-commerce project tutorial. So I'll give this link in the description and from here you can download this e-commerce template. And in order to download it from here, all you need to do is that after coming to this link, you need to click on this code option. And if you click on this code option, here you can see download zip button. Just click on download zip. There you can see it's reloading and a download started and a download is complete. So right now let me just go to the folder location where we just download that. So here you can see the zip file. So let me just cut it from here and I'm going to paste it over here in my new volume F. And we need to extract this zip file. So I'll just right click on the folder. Then here you can see extend call option. And I'll extract it on new volume layer. So I'll just click on extract right now. There you can see it is extract. So right now if you go inside and go to the index file, here you can see index file. This is the HTML file. If we just double click, here you can see this is the HTML template. So we'll indicate this HTML template in our Laravel project. And in order to go that, first of all, uh, let's just go to our project over here. Uh, this is our e-commerce project. So right now, what we need to do is that let me just close. Uh, let me just close this one and let me just open it. New tab over here, new volume A, and our folder name was this one. E-commerce project main, and this is the extract one. Let me just go inside, and here you can see we have some files and folder over here. So first of all, what we need to do is that we need to select all those files and folder and we'll just copy it so control c or you can just right click and copy this from here after copying this what we need to do is that we need to go to our laravel project and in the laravel project here you can see the public folder so we'll go inside the public folder and we'll paste whatever we just copied from here so we we'll just paste it over here control d and there you can see so after pasting it, uh, if we just go to our code editor and if we go to our public folder, there you can see we have the CSS, font, images and JS folder. So right now what we are going to do first is we will go to our resource folder. Inside the resource we have queues and inside queues we have some more folder and files. So right now we are going to create a folder over here for getting the view from the H7 template. So let me just right click on the queues, then click over here new folder and let's say our folder name will be whole. And in the whole folder, I'm going to create a index.grade.php. So let me just right click over here, click new file and I'm going to show over here index.blade.php then control s then set so here you can see in the whole folder right now we have index.blade.php so here then let me just write some simple html code over here first let's say in the body hello and save it so right now what we are going to do is that in the root theme instead of this we will to see this field index.blade.php so how can we do it so in order to do it we need to go to our routes then web.php and here you can see for the root view we are calling the welcome view we are entering the welcome view and welcome view is this one so whatever you can see Laravel so whatever we are seeing over here is coming from here so in the routes web.php stop welcome we are going to mention this uh, whole folder so we saw one here whole dot and we mention the file name and the file name is index so if we just saw one here index then save it then refresh here there you can see we are able to see hello but obviously uh, if we return the view from here this is not a good practice so we we'll just remove this and we are going to saw one here round to double clone k to first bracket so we mention the root view comma we we'll give the third bracket and we will mention our folder name which is full controller, double clone class. We need to mention a function name. Let's say the function name will be 
four. And after it, just save it. And right now, we'll go to our home controller, then create a home function. And from the home function, we'll return this home.index pin. So let me just go to that. And then HTTP controller, and here you can see phone controller. So here we're going to send public function home to first bracket to second bracket, and when the sheet and a simple view, we say what we have written new, it will be home dot index. So basically, what we are doing is that from the root view, we are following the home controller home function, and our home function will return us this view home dot index which is this one. So right now, if we refresh, we see the same thing. So what we on is that we we'll want to see this queue in the root view in our Laravel project. So for it, what we need to do is that here you can see uh, at the top in the URN index.html. So what we need to do is that in order to get this design, we need to go back to our board and here in the mapping folder, we paste the folder and files for the template, right? So from here, we are going to go to the index.html. Here you can see index.html, not index.php. Index.html, and we are going to copy everything from here. So control A, control C. And whatever we copied from here, from the index.html, we are going to paste it in the index.blade.php. So let us just remove everything from here. And we we'll paste whatever we just copied from here. So we just paste over here. So right now, let's just go at the top. And here you can see we have some link reference over here. So here you can see this is a link. And if we go down, here we are mentioning the CSS file in the public folder. Here you can see CSS slash bootstrap.css. If you go to the CSS folder, here you can see slash bootstrap.css folder over here. So in order to have access to the public folder, we need to mention asset over here. So right now what we're going to do is that, let me just give to second bracket over here and here as well. Then we saw what here asset, then to first bracket, then to single quotation and inside it, we're going to paste this. Okay, we need to write it like this, the CSS link okay so we just paste it over again so the same way we are going to do it for this one and this one as well so let me just do it at once let me just select those two at alls we'll give to second bracket we say what here asset then do first bracket like this with single quotation and we also need to give to second bracket over here after that i'm just going to cut it from here Paste it here, again, I'll cut this from here and paste it over here. So in Laravel, we need to measure it like this. Okay, and so right now, this is the CSS part. If we now go down, we'll see that JS part over here as well. So this is a website link. So for this, we don't have to do anything. So here, you can see source, source, and source. So we'll give two second bracket, we'll see our head ascend, to first bracket, to single quotation. And at the end, I'm going to add two second bracket. Let me just cut this from here, paste it here, cut it from here, then paste it here. And we'll do the same for this as well. After it, if we now save, then if we now refresh our Laravel project, then you can see we're able to see our HTML template in our Laravel project. So right now, what we need to do is we'll go back to our board and there you can see there's a lot of line of board over there, around five and six sites. Some template may contain thousands of lines. So it's not good to keep everything in a single file. If we just separate everything in different file, then it will be really easier for us to work with this project. For example, we're going to separate the uh, header section then the slider section, the product section, contact section, and the footer section. So whenever we need to make some changes, we'll be able to easily find the file and make the changes. So for it, let's go back to our code. And here you can see in the head section, we have the CSS link, right? So I'm just going to uh, cut this from here, control L's. So we cut the code from the head section. So right now what I'm going to do is that I'll go to our 
uh, home folder, right click, then click new file, and I'm going to show here CSS dot dot PHP, control S, then save, and I'm going to paste the code that we just copied from here, from the head section. Paste it, then save it here. After saving it, we're going to go to the head section, and here, we're going to call this css.bait.php and for it we need to show on here include to first bracket to sell version it will be uh, this css.bait.php is in the home folder right so we need to mention the home folder then we need to mention the css.bait.php so we just need to mention our here css so right now if we say then if we now refresh there you can see everything is working properly and if we now remove this include home.css then refresh to our here there you can see the css is not working properly and if we just write it back over here then refresh over here there you can see everything is perfect right now so right now let's go separate the, this slider section or you can see header section so let's separate it so let's go back and here you can see header section start over here so let's just start from here here you can see header so i'll start from here and it will end over here so i'll just cut it so if we now save then refresh then you can see the header section is gone so let's go back and here in the home we're going to create a file called header dot let dot bsp control s save we paste whatever code we copied from the header section from here so here we're going to say at the end of include we saw what here home dot header after it we have the slider section here you can see static from here so i'll also remove this and let me just show you how it will look if i now refresh there you can see there is no slider section over here so let's go back and here we're going to we'll click on the poll then click on new file and here we're going to say slider.blade.php control s save paste whatever code we copied from the slider section and i'm going to show what here home dot slider so let's also remove this uh product section or shop section so let me just cut it from here to it will end uh, over here here you can see the section in it over here so i'll just cut it from here control s and here you can see we cut the shop section and right now if we just refresh over here there you can see there is no latest product section over here so let's go back and let's create over here uh, right click on home folder click new file and we we'll show on there product.blade.bsp control s save we'll paste the code on here save it and we're going to send here at the end of include it to file bracket single code shell home dot product save it then refresh here and there you can see it is back so right now we'll just directly save the font address and the footer section let me just separate the contact us section from here. Control X. There you can see the contact us section in the one here. So control X. I'm going to show it here at that top. It includes home dot contact. We'll go to the home folder, right click, new file. We'll say here contact dot lead dot php. Control S. Save and paste whatever import we just copied. After that, we'll also separate the footer section. So I'll start it from here to at that end. I found in the or body bounds. So control gains and where we we'll saw over here at the end of include to file jacket single condition home dot footer. Send it, click on whole folder, right click, new file. We we'll set here footer dot blend dot PSP, control S there and we're going to paste the code save it again i'm just replying the same process again and again so i hope you understand if you now save it then refresh 
and everything is over here properly so this is how you can add a html template in your laravel project and right now we are going to make any changes in the error section so here you can see the login option so in the previous tutorial we made the multiple authentication so right now if we click on login it will keep us on the same page so uh, we are going to have login and register option over here so for it let's go back and we will go to the uh, here it is the header section. We will go to the header section. We will go to home. Then we will go to the header dot page feed. And here you can see of the login option. And login is inside this anchor tag. So in this HTML, we are going to give it to second bracket. Then we we'll saw here URL to first bracket, serial position. We are going to mention the login URL. And after that, okay, let me just copy this and paste it here. And we're going to say one here, the stop login. We are going to say here register. And here we are going to say register. And here you can see users of the stop user. Let me say one here, Fafa, he, card. Let me save it. Then let me just refresh here. And here you can see the login and register option. If I click on login, it will take us to the login page. Because in the previous tutorial, we need the login and registration part. And if I click on register, it will take us to the register press. So this is all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to in the end the admin template in our Laravel project. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or any problem or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.